Good morning, little people. Hope you guys had a super fantastic weekend and are ready to get fired up and going for today. Now, today is your learning packet pickup. So you get all of your activities for the next couple of weeks since we won't be able to see each other at school. But we still get to do our Zoom. We still get to see each other once a week. So I hope you guys are ready to have a fantastic week. Oh, and a shout out to one of our classmates whose birthday is today. So, happy birthday, Gabe. I hope you have a fantastic birthday, buddy. All right, so boys and girls, our three jobs, okay? We got our promises, our calendar, and our message. So, could I please have you stand up straight as pencils? Nice job. All right, boys and girls, what's the tallest building in the world look like? Straightest pencil. Tallest building. Tallest building. Straightest pencil. Nice job. All right, guys, let's jump into our promises. First promise. Everyone together. Ready? Go. Help others. Nice job. Thanks so much for all of you guys that are saying it with me. Next one. Listen to each other. Nice work, guys. Next one. Make new friends. Awesome work, guys. Next promise. Always be polite and use please and thank you. Don't forget those manners, guys. Last promise. Last promise. Everyone together. Nice and loud. Never bully. Good work, guys. Thanks for those of you guys that were helping me out. Let's jump into our calendar. Now, boys and girls, last Friday, we moved into a new month of the year. The month of the year that we are in is the month of May. What is it, guys? Nice job. Boys and girls, let's spell the month of the year May. Letter names. Ready? Go. Spells May. Nice job. All right, guys. Now, since we just started the month of May, we haven't been in the month for very many days. So, could you guys show me, above your heads, mathematicians, how many days have we been in the month of May? Good job. Oh, nice job. We've been in the month of May four days. So boys and girls, today's date is Monday, our day of the week. May, our month of the year, fourth, the day of the month. So let's say it together. Ready? Go! Today's date is Monday, May 4th. Good job, guys. All right. So let's jump in to our morning message. Can you still see me? Awesome. All right, guys. Get that reading finger out. Warm it up. Warm it up. We got to get it ready, readers, because that reading finger helps us follow along with our sentences. So please get that reading finger up above your head. I'm waiting for some of you guys. Good job. All right, let's point to that first word, please. Ready? Go. Well, there's nothing there but a bunch of marks. Boys and girls, today's word that we are going to build is the name of a shape that we're going to be talking about soon. Our new math unit is about 3D, not 2D, not flat shapes, but solid shapes. Shapes that you might see in objects outside or in your garage or maybe in your house. But today's shape that we are going to build the word for is the shape of a cone. We use these cones when we're playing our races outside or when we're doing our running and whatnot outside of our classroom. So our shape is a cone. Now, we're going to be talking about the shape later this week. But before we do, let's see if we can build that word, guys. So again, 
Let's say the word out loud together. Ready, boys and girls? The word is cone. Get that sounding hand up, guys. Let's sound out the word cone together. Ready? Go. K -o -n. Cone. Nice job, guys. Now, let's listen closely. What's that first sound you hear in the word cone? Good job. Now, we have two letters that make that sound, don't we? Now, boys and girls, could you please get out a piece of paper or your plastic sleeve that you can write on? And I want you, boys and girls, to build this letter with me. So, the first sound is a k, k. But it's not the k, k koala. K, k cactus. Good job. So, the first letter is the letter k, k C. Now, if you can write that next letter sound on your paper or your board, do it. Good job, it's that vowel, the O. Oh, nice job. What's that last letter sound? The sound for the nest, n, n, n. The letter for the nest is our N. Now, good job, guys. We're done with our word, right? No, that O is saying its name. Who is bossing that O around? The bossy. Good job. So build that word, boys and girls, on your paper. Good job. We're going to sound it out now, boys and girls. Ready? Put your finger underneath that first letter in your word. When I say go, let's sound it out together. Ready? Go. K o n. Blend it. Cone. Good job. Now, kindergartners, why didn't that E, why didn't he say anything? That's right. What's his job? His job is to jump over the consonant and tell that vowel to say its name. Good job, guys. All right. Do we have a complete sentence? Punctuation mark at the end, our exclamation point our capital at the beginning, and our finger spaces between our words. Good job, guys. All right. Here we go, readers. Next sentence. Thanks for those of you with that reading finger up. I appreciate it. Awesome work. First word. Ready? Go. Today is blank. Who remembers from our date what day of the week it is? If you think you remember, write that sentence on your paper. Go. Today is Monday. Good job, guys. So, for those of you guys that are taking your time, thank you. Good job, guys. All right, a few more seconds. Finish up that sentence that you're doing such a good job at writing. Don't forget your finger spaces. Good job. Now, boys and girls, before we move on to our last morning message sentence, let me ask, do we have a good complete sentence in orange? Is that next, is that sentence have its punctuation mark at the end and its capital at the beginning? Well, it does have that period at the end, doesn't it? Good job. I hope your guys' sentence does. Nice work. But look at that first letter. What should that letter be? Good job. Make sure you have your first letter your capital T. Good job, writers. I know you guys are working hard, doing your very best. Now, do we have our good complete sentence? Well, we have our capital at the beginning. 
our finger spaces and our punctuation mark. <gasps> but that I, right? What is that I doing sneaking in there as a capital? No, the only capital is at the beginning, right? Or in a name. So we need to make sure that that I in our sight word is, is a lowercase. Good job. All right, guys. So our last morning message sentence. Okay. Let's read it in our heads. Ready? Go. Hmm. Well, let's read that out loud now, boys and girls, because I know you guys did a great job. We're going to have to sound out some of these words. Ready? I like, good job, to j uh, mm, p jump in hot, hot, b a bath. Hmm. Now, did that sound like a good complete sentence? Hmm. I'm going to read that one more time, a little bit quicker, because now that we've read it twice, we kind of recognize those words and we're able to blend those sounds. So let's try it one more time. I like to jump in hot bath. I like to jump in hot bath. I like to jump in hot bath. Hmm, boys and girls, does that sound like a good complete sentence? No. So boys and girls, think about how you would say that sentence to your mom or dad, or maybe to your grandma and grandpa or a friend. How would you say a good complete sentence? Because boys and girls, we're missing a sight word in there that we use very often. I like to jump in There you go. I think some I think I heard some of you guys say it. I like to jump in the finger space hot now, that last word, bath. B. A. A. And remember, those two letters that make the th, th, th. Good job. Our T H. Awesome job, guys. Now, to complete our sentence, boys and girls, we need to have our punctuation mark. Now, this isn't a telling sentence. It is telling us something, but it's telling us something exciting. What exciting or important sentences have this punctuation mark at the end? I would love for you boys and girls to write this sentence with your very best handwriting. Write this sentence and then put that punctuation mark that you know goes at the end of our exciting sentences. Hint, hint. All right, boys and girls. I hope you have a fantastic day. I can't wait to see you guys. I hope I get to see you guys today at Packet Pickup. Okay? Have a fantastic day. Miss y'all. All right, boys and girls. Adios.